How's it going guys? It's Asthmatic here with an episode of Xbox 101 and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Xbox One dashboard. Now the first thing you're probably going to notice is I have my face cam turned off and that's just because since we're looking at the dashboard I really wanted to have the entire screen be the dashboard itself and not have my face blocking any portions of it and plus for this video you don't really need to see me you only need to hear what I'm saying. So when you first turn on your Xbox One you're going to be brought right here to your home section of the dashboard. Now, whatever game you played last or whatever app you used last is what's going to be highlighted right here in the center. So uh, for when I'm recording this video, I've got the Division Open Beta starting in uh, about two days. So I had just updated it, so that's what I've got right there. And now if I use either my directional pad on my controller or the left thumbstick, I can go downwards and it shows me the last four things that, um, the last four apps I had used. Now this one on the bottom here will dynamically change depending on what disc you have inserted in your Xbox. So if I were to go over there and put a Blu-ray movie in, the, uh, the Blu-ray player app would go right down there to the bottom and it would present a little disc icon letting me know that that's the disc I have uh, in my Xbox at the time. And that's really useful if you play a lot of games based on discs because then you don't have to eject it to actually see what disc is in there. You can just come to your dashboard, see what's here that has the disc icon next to it, and there you go. If we go down a little bit more, I've got this My Stuff section which shows me all of my pins. Now your pins are completely customizable. Anything you want to put in here in any order and I mean that's it whatever you want to put down here so these are some of the games and apps that I use most regularly and let's go ahead and hop into the my games and app so that I can show you guys a bit more detail in this app as well as how we actually set up our pins so when I launch my games and apps this is pretty much my hub for everything that I've got on my Xbox so over here on the left you can see I've got games apps and Q so starting with games, I've got every game that's installed on my Xbox. Now if I want to view these, I can view these a lot of different ways, I should say. So I've got alphabetical, I can do by recently used, so whatever game I played last is going to be first on the list, and then the next game I had used going backwards in time will be after that. Recently updated, so if I play, say, a lot of different games and I just want to say, hey, like, you know, what's got an update recently? What, you know, has what game has new content for me to experience? I can have that coming up first. And we can also sort by size. Don't really know why you'd want to use that unless you were, say, going through your hard drive wanting to free stuff up and you want to know, hey, what's the biggest game I've got on my hard drive? What's taking up the most space? Personally, I prefer with A through Z just because every time I look at this, it's the same list. Obviously that changes if I install or uninstall games, but with recently used or recently updated, this game, this list is gonna move around a lot. So if I'm looking for a specific game, it might not be in the same place it was the last time I looked for it. And I don't wanna have to take an hour to find a game. I just do A through Z so that they're always in the same order. Now that might get a little boring because I don't really play that much Black Flag, but it's always here right up front. The other option that we have here is storage device. Now I've got obviously the internal storage device and then my external hard drive that I've named that. Now if you have multiple drives, they obviously show up here by name. Um, so if I wanna know what games I've got installed only on my hard drive, I can select that and here they are. Now for me, I put pretty much all my games on the hard drive, so it'll be better if I go internal. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Maybe I haven't moved this many these these games over there yet. So. Usually you just do an all and that's going to show you every game that you have available to play right now on your console. Some of these, now the games listed here will be both digital, ba digital games and disc based games. So like Fallout 4 I own digitally so I can just press A to play right here. Whereas any of my forces right here I have discs for so I would have to put in the disc in order to play those. As you can see, any Xbox 360 games that are that you own and that are available with backwards compatibility and installed will show up right here. So you can see Dirt 3 and Geometry Wars, um, as long as as long as well as Hexic right here that I have, I could play because I own those games and they're backwards compatible. Now, as I scroll through this entire list, as we get to the end here, there's another section that's really important. Now, it's not actually. Here we go, sorry, there we go. So here's the beginning of it, and this is the ready to install list. Now everything on this list are all games that I own, but I don't have installed. 
So they feature things like Assassin's Creed 2, which is a digital game that I had on the 360 that is backwards compatible, but I'm not going to be playing any Assassin's Creed 2, so I don't have it installed. Along with maybe some past games with gold that I'm not playing right now or games that I just bought when they were there and I never installed them. All of these show up on this list. Now this list is now customizable, so I can choose if I, like if say, let's say Max Curse of Brotherhood, I've totally beaten this game, I'm, I'm probably not gonna wanna play it again anytime soon, totally done with it. What I can do while I have it selected is press the, pretty much what used to be the start button on the controller, uh, some people call it the hamburger button, it's the button with the three horizontal lines. If I push that button, I get the sort of settings menu. Now I've got the game hub, I've got manage options, because this is a ready to install, I have the install option, or I can do a hide from list. And if I do that, it says, well, hey, are you sure? Because then if it's gone, how am I going to find it? Well, I can always find it directly on the Xbox store and install it from there. But I know I'm not going to use it, so we'll hit hide, and then it disappears. So this list will always be here showing you all the games that you own, but don't have installed. If I continue scrolling over to the right, I've got the Xbox store, which is a link directly to the Xbox store. I'm not going to go any more into the store right now because we're going to have a separate video of Xbox 101 dedicated to that, so look for it in the playlist. When I scroll down here to apps, this is pretty much the same thing as games, except of course we're looking at apps instead. So this is where I can come to look at my achievements. Uh, the Blu-ray player, is, the Blu-ray disc player is an app, and so that's right there. I've got my EA Access Hub, GoPro stuff, anything for help is on here, Hulu Halo channel, and we go all the way through to see all of these. And then we have the link right there to go to the Xbox store to find anything else. And I've got the same thing here when I go to settings, but the only option I have here is just to pin. Now, if I go to an app like Twitch, that is something that I can actually uninstall. I also have this manage uh, section right here. Now, anything that I can uninstall from my console is gonna have that, that option. Obviously, settings doesn't because I can't get rid of that. It's, uh, you know, it's a system thing. So if I select manage app, um, it shows me, actually, I changed my mind. I want to use a game for this because that's going to be a better example. Let's go to Battlefield 4. Now, if I go here to manage game, I've got a lot of stuff on here. It shows me that I've got the game installed. I think I actually have it twice because I have it, and then I got EA Access later, so that's why it shows up on this list twice. I've got the game installed, and then I've got all of this stuff that I've installed, whether it be premium or any of the bonuses or any of the bonuses here, any of the other stuff. So I can actually take these items and I can move them from my internal to my external hard drive or vice versa. I could copy them if I'd want to if I want to have a mirrored external hard drive or I can uninstall them. If I say I don't want to play a certain expansion anymore, if I'm trying to save space on my hard drive, I can uninstall specific items. And then we also, of course, have the options of completely uninstalling everything or moving everything or copying. So it looks like this game right now, I kind of have split a little bit between my internal hard drive and my external. So I have this list appearing twice, but if it's all on, if the entirety of a game's files are stored only on one spot, you're only gonna have that option once. Now, currently I don't have anything installing or updating, so my queue is empty. But say when new games with gold come out and I go to download all of them, they're going to show up right here and let you know what's downloading and in what order. So if I've just set three things to download, but I decided that I wanted the third one, I can select it, push that hamburger button and hit download now, which will download it, which will move it to the front of the queue and begin downloading it, downloading it immediately. The last thing to highlight on this page here is on the lower left hand corner, you see this. Uh, wheel that lets me know how much storage I've actually used up. Now I've got that set so it's showing my total storage. So I've got 1.8 terabytes free between my external hard drive and my internal. I've got a two terabyte external and then this is the special edition Halo Xbox with a one terabyte um, inside right there. It's letting me know that I've used up 27.7% of my storage and I've got 1.8 terabytes free. And no matter which page, I'm on here, I see that there, so I always know what my storage options or what my storage situation is. So now let's say I wanna look down here at the division beta again. Now I'm gonna select this, push the hamburger button, and I get the option to pin to home 
or go to manage. Now manage we've already been to, so let's say I wanna pin this guy. And when I hit pin, I can now go down here and it shows up right here at the front. So if I'm anywhere in my games and apps or I'm going anywhere on the store and there's something that I wanna save for later, I can pin it, it will show up right down here. Let me think about, see here what I wanna to go to next. Oh, let's talk about game hubs. So Rock Band 4, when I've got it selected here, I can either hit the hamburger button and then, oh, I'm sorry, I can't go to the game hub from here. So when I've got Rock Band 4 selected, I can go one to the right and I've got the game hub or I can go over to share. Let's take a look at the game hub first. So I'm gonna press A on that guy and it's gonna launch the friends app, which is where you're gonna to go to find your game hub. Now over here across the top, I've got info about the game. I've got feed so I can see um, anything that's posted from like the developers, if they're sharing anything like that, which it looks like Harmonix isn't doing that for Rock Band 4 right now. So uh, sorry, that page looks a little boring. I can also bring up my achievements, which gives me a really detailed breakdown of, oh wow, I play way more Rock Band than all my friends, which gives me a detailed breakdown of all of my stuff here. So I can click compare to go directly to see where uh, what my achievements are as compared to my friends. I can see that I have 215 gamer score out of the thousand available. I've unlocked 16 achievements. I've spent one day, four hours and 58 minutes playing this game. And this is also the most time out of anyone on my friends list um, on Rock Band 4. So I get that little gold guy right there. I've got a silver on total stars earned because that is, I'm second of the four people on my friends list who have played Rock Band 4. I can continue scrolling down to get a breakdown of some achievements here. And let's say that I really, really like the look of this drum kit right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press A on that. And then I get a more detailed breakdown, lets me know the name of the achievement, how much it was worth, what I actually did to unlock it, when I unlocked it. I can do a share to send this to my feed to show everyone that I am an amazing drummer. And, or excuse me, this isn't a drumming one that I, um, that I accepted a fan request in career mode and that I nailed it. Uh, or I have this uh, set as background, which is a really cool feature we have here on Xbox One. So what, let's say that I really love my orange drum, orange drum kit here. So I'm gonna do a set as background and I just clicked it. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my dashboard here. And you can see that that picture is now in the background. So heading back to the game hub, let's head back to the top here. That was under, that's what our achievement page looks like. So then if I go over here to friends, it's gonna show me my friends activity on this game. And I've got three guys on my friends list who play this. So I can see when they played it and then their gamer score, which that's obviously the gamer score for their account, not just for uh, Rock Band itself. Captures, this shows any game captures that you have for the game. And I haven't recorded any clips playing or taken any screenshots, so I don't have anything on this list. And so there we go. Uh, I didn't go over this page. Um, so I've got on info here, I can do a follow, which will give me updates whenever anything is posted in the game hub. I can go directly to launch the game, or I have a link to go to the store, which is where I would obviously go to look for any additional songs or any expansion packs or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and press the Xbox button on my controller to go back to the home page. These three things that you see right here are always going to be advertisements of some kind. You know, whether or not we've got something, a special controller offer available right now from Xbox. We've got Quantum Break coming out soon, so they're advertising that, which is available for pre-order. And then we've got whatever's going on with Xbox Live Gold. So it looks like right here, they're going to be showing me pretty much a My Profile area where I can go to a Manage Membership, or if I had a recurring payment, I wanted to turn that off or change that. I've got it there. Uh, I've got Xbox Live Gold sharing for this Xbox. And then we've got our games with gold always shown right here, as well as whatever de or deals are going on with gold at that time as well. I've got some exclusives, details on all of the benefits of gold, and some legal stuff down on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and back out right here. All right, now in the new Xbox One experience, one of the greatest additions they've made are all of these lists over here, or this list of items over here on the left. Now all I'm gonna do is press left on the directional pad to bring up this list. Now I can go up one here to see anything having to do with profiles on this Xbox. So I've only got uh, one profile on this Xbox, my own, um, and it's signed in, but let's say my girlfriend was here as well and I had her profile and she was signed in, it would tell me I had two signed in and I could see what they were. And I can go down here to 
add or manage uh, whatever profiles are saved on this Xbox. If I press A on myself, I can go over to my profile, I can go straight to my achievements, or I can sign out. If I go down here to my friends list, I can see my entire friends list right here. Up on top, I can go find someone to find uh, someone that I want to add to my friends list. I can choose whether or not I'm viewing my friends, my recent players, my favorites, or suggested friends. Next thing down on the list is party, so I can start a party here, or if I'm in one, I can view everyone who's in it, I can mute chat, I can send a game invite to the party, I can go to invite other people to the party, and all that good stuff. Next down, we've got messages, where I of course have the option of creating a new one. Any messages that you have are gonna be listed right here. Press A to view, and then blah, 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 there's all that. If I go down to a more, I have the option to delete the conversation. And I'm pretty much done with that one, so I'm going to delete it. And then there's no messages. Notifications is a really cool area because if I've got games installing or I've got uh, people adding me into my friends list, as you can see here, all of these notifications show up. Now, if I say just played a brand new game and I unlocked five or six achievements on it, it will put all those together into a little into a little bin, which is a really nice way for me to say, oh yeah, I'd, I'd played The Division earlier and I unlocked all these achievements, but I don't need to review them, so I can just go ahead and clear them. I also have a clear all, so I can just get rid of that. Good to know that my friend Captain Zazma has added me as a friend. You guys should definitely go check out his YouTube page. We're gonna be doing some work together. Um, he's a great guy. The bottom list down here is settings, where I've got some quick settings right here, such as, do I wanna use my Kinect for chat if I don't have a headset plugged in, yes or no? I can turn off my console or I can restart my console. I've also got a list to all settings, but again, I'm not gonna go into those in any detail right now because we're gonna have a separate Xbox 101 video dedicated entirely to the settings menu. The final thing we have is the option to snap a certain app. Now, as soon as I go over here to snap, it's gonna show me all of the different apps that I have installed that are able to be snapped go all the way down here. And then on the bottom, we have the option of going to the Xbox store to get any more. So let's go ahead and say, let's go with the Halo channel. I select the Halo channel to snap it. It's gonna show up over on the right. And then anything, whenever you snap an app, it's gonna take the newest, the last app that you had running and open it in quote full screen. Um, well, it looks like Halo channel right now is something that's really only usable in full screen. But we can still use this to show you that right now my controls are in the snapped app. I'm controlling the Halo Channel app and not the gold members area over on the left. So what I can do is double tap the Xbox button on my controller. And what that's gonna do is bring me back to my snap menu right over here. And it's gonna give me the option to unsnap that and make it go away. And now I'm back to just controlling whatever that one app was, which, which I was in the store, and then I can go down here to view whatever else. So as we look at the dashboard as a whole, I can scroll all the way up to the top to view my tabs. So I'm obviously right now on my homepage. I can go one over here to the right to look at community. Now this is pretty much a, consider it an Xbox version of Twitter, where everything that's going on with my friends is gonna all show up down here. So anytime someone makes a clip or unlocks an achievement, it shows up right over here. So I've got a friend who just got Rocket League, which came out today. He's getting achievements. I've got friends who are playing Halo and, uh, and making clips, it looks like. And let's say, let's go with my friend Space Meat right here. If I wanna view this clip, I'm gonna press A. It's eliminated a serpent hunter. And I get to watch this awesome clip of him destroying this hunter. If I know anything about this guy, he's gonna end with a ground pound. Oh, he's gonna go away. There it is. So I can go on here to view these clips, and I've got the options right here. There's the kill. And I've got the options right here on the right to either give him a like, give him a comment, or share it. So this is, think of the share on here as like a retweet from Twitter where if I think this is really cool, I want to share it to my feed so that all of my friends, even if they're not Space Meets friends, can see them. And then I've got the options right here where I can go to his profile, I can go to the Halo 5 Game Hub, um, or if this is some sort of inappropriate content, I have the option of reporting it. So we go back there, and I can go all the way down and see everything that's going on in my feed. We've also got, oh, excuse me. 
I've got a refresh right here because there's a couple new items since I loaded this page. So I can do that to see that these guys are adding friends and doing screenshots and all that kind of stuff. Over on the right, we've got whatever's trending on Xbox. So that's going to be something that's obviously very dynamic. Whatever's going on in Xbox at the present time is going to show up over there. The last two items that you see here are one guide and store, which I'm just going to go over briefly here because again, I'm going to have detailed videos later talking about these specific items. One guide is where all of the media relating to your Xbox one gets funneled into one place on the top here. You're going to have sort of the best from everywhere. We've got Hulu stuff. We've got Microsoft movies and TV crackle Hulu and sling going on there. Um, we've got live TV that I can go to right here, movies, TV shows, app channels, and then things that I have in my own library. And then when we go into more detailed app channels down below, I can see what's going on on Amazon video. I've got FX now, NFL red zone, ESPN, and then the Microsoft first party movies and TV. Now I use a lot of Amazon instant video, so I'm going to go ahead and favorite that guy so that that's always going to be right there on top. All right, and then the last thing we've got over here is the store, which when I go, it expands and shows me more detailed things like games, apps, movies, and TV, or music. And then we've got anything I could ever want to buy down in there. But again, I'm going to leave store for another time. So that's really the basic overview of the Xbox One dashboard as it exists, as it, as it exists today. The last thing that I want to feature right here is this quit option, which is really important to remember that your Xbox is a computer system just because it doesn't have the Windows 10 graphics interface that you're used to using on your PC or it doesn't look like a Mac or anything like that. It's still a computer and you've still got RAM and all that kind of uh, memory that you're that you might have to free up at times if you've got a million different apps or games running in the background. So if I was watching Netflix earlier and I'm done with that now, I could come in here and close that out. I was in the beta earlier and that's been closed out. But if I'm done in the store, I can do a quit and that gets rid of that app so that it's no longer running and using up RAM from the system. Just an important little side note if you're ever saying, man, my Xbox is really running really slow. How the heck can I speed it up? Go see what stuff you've got open because you might have a bunch of different games open and you can go and close those. And then remember from before that you could always just come over here and do a restart because remember this is a computer and if your computer's ever being dumb, the first thing you always do is turn it off and turn it back on. So with that, I believe I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. So thank you very much for hanging out for another edition of Xbox 101. I've got a lot more content coming in the playlist, so keep an eye out for that, for whatever we've got going on. Uh, if you're unsure of what this... Uh unsure of what this series is all about, there is an overview video in the playlist so you can get an idea of what's going on here, what we do. And again, thank you very much. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye.